Detroit basketball. Yes, Detroit. Detroit Pistons beat the Timberwolves 122-101. to Let's get it. This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. Tobias Harris is a beast. I want to say some other words, but I'm going to keep it, you know, positive. Tobias Harris is a freaking beast. 34 points, just took over the game, was just, just, just let it go. He just let it go. And he couldn't miss tonight. I'm loving what I'm seeing, the leadership. He's going to bring this team to the top. Him and Avery Bradley, Avery Bradley, once again, is a leader. 20 points. It's just taking over the game and just taking control. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And then everybody's moving the ball around. This team had 32 assists. 32 assists. Also, Ishmith, coming off the bench, had 13 assists on his own. He pretty much played damn near the, four, the fourth quarter by himself. I mean, Reggie came in there. Stan Van Gundy put him right back out. Ishmith pretty much played that whole fourth quarter. We dominated the game. We blew these guys out. We led pretty much the whole game. Drummond literally was a beast. He had 15 points, 15 rebounds. Probably could have had more points. But the defense by Drummond after that Sixers game, when he took a lot of criticism, he played better defense. He played good, exceptional defense on Anthony Towns. That's what I like to see. That's what everybody likes to see. And that this that whole team against a improved Timberwolves team, they have all types of talent on that team. Anthony Towns, Wiggins, Jeff Teague. I mean, the list goes on and on. Crawford, Jamal Crawford. I mean, this team is freaking stacked, right? This team is stacked. And we, hey, they came, we were home, we beasted up on them. Straight up beasted. Key things that I saw, Stan, Stanley Johnson had confidence in his game, he had 15 points. That's, I mean, if we can get that on a daily basis out of Stanley Johnson, that'd be great because he's been trying to figure out his game. And finally, he comes out and has a decent game. We need that consistency out of him. He's a good player. He's a two-way player. He has potential to be a two-way, one of the best two-way players in the game. It's just that sometimes he struggles on offense, and you can tell because of that his confidence isn't there. But he's attacking the basket, and he's being aggressive, and that's what we like to see. Ellingson, Henry Ellingson, had 14 points off the bench. I mean, that dude's about to pretty much take minutes from John Lohr. Like, Ellingson balled out, had a monster dunk. Had a monster dunk on somebody, almost made a poster. But it lifted the bench. Everybody was going nuts. I mean, this is what you like to see. This is what you like to see. So, listen, guys, this Piston team, just because the Eastern Conference is weak doesn't mean that the Pistons is going to be weak. They, th this Piston team is going to be able to compete with the best, okay? We have talent on our bench, and we have talent in our starting five. So if we can play like this on a consistent basis, Basis where every night we're bringing the defense, we're bringing the offense, and hey, we scored 122 points. I mean, look at last year. I mean, we could barely get over 100, let alone 80. So I'm liking what I'm seeing, guys. Believe me, what I'm believe me when I tell you this Piston team is different and is going to bring us over the top. You heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just look at the description. I put the link on there. Just follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I'm out. The Detroit Pistons. Let's get it.